Google Docs tabs can be found over here in the sidebar. You can collapse it and show it. And each tab is going to be like its own page where you don't have to scroll to get to the next section, but rather effortlessly navigate using tabs. When you create a new Google Doc in an upgraded account, if you have free Google for Education or you're using your Gmail, you're not going to see the tab option. You can add additional tabs to create and organize your Google Doc content. Google Docs tabs offer various benefits, including organizing content, navigating documents easily, collaborating effectively, and creating separate sections for different content types. Organize your content into logical sections, navigate your document with ease, and collaborate effectively with others, and create separate sections for different content types. Each tab can be a different way to organize your information. To access Google Docs tabs, your school will need to upgrade the Google Workspace account. If you're using free Gmail or Google Workspace Business Starter, you'll only see the option for the document outline and not the ability to create tabs. Document tabs are in the document, not the account. This means if a document with document tabs is shared with you, you'll be able to manage the tabs. So I'm gonna share, Send. Now any of my collaborators are going to be able to navigate and add document tabs. Find your document tabs in the document outline in the left sidebar. It may be collapsed. While in the free version, you'll only see the outline created by headings. In the upgraded version, you can click the plus icon to add additional tabs and see the headings for each tab. If you have access to document tabs, you just need to find the plus icon over in the side panel where you can add additional tabs and double click to rename. The view menu in the upgraded version of Google Workspace is gonna show you the option to collapse tabs and outline sidebar. So you can see using the view menu, I can bring the sidebar out or tuck it back in. You can also just click on the icon right in the sidebar. This is important. You're gonna to wanna to use heading one and heading two from the toolbar to automatically generate an outline in the sidebar. Adding headings is gonna automatically generate an outline in the left sidebar. So notice that in the toolbar, I have heading one or normal text and heading two. You're going to want to use these headings to structure out each tab so that when you click on the tab, it's going to expand out and show you what headings and outline you have for that particular tab. 